This FFPC Best Ball Draft Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Get started today and you'll get a risk free bet up to $500. Terms and conditions apply. Get the details at winbet.com and download the app today. We're also brought to you by Better Than Vegas. Better Than Vegas is your home to free daily video picks from SGPN. It's like YouTube for sports gambling. Make sure to subscribe to our profile at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. We're also brought to you by Roman. Roman is the straightforward way to take care of your ED. Just head to getroman.com slash SGP for $15 off your first month. That's getroman.com slash SGP. We're also doing a uh, <clears throat> live best ball draft. <laughs> Ooh, welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan real Money Kramer, what's happening, Kramer dog? You know, Sean, you threw me a curveball there. I threw myself I, a curveball. <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> left the FCS playoff bracket challenge uh, in pre-roll in my ad reads. It is uh, the FCS is happening, but you can no longer put your entry in. So I didn't mean to read that. I started reading it. Thought I improvised. Okay, I could do better improvising, but I got my. I'm, I'm looking at the live draft. I'm thinking what I should do, Ryan. There's so much happening. It, it's do, all football related. How many minutes do we have until uh, who's on, who's up first? I haven't even looked at the draft order. So we're doing another one of these FFPC best ball drafts. They're only uh thirty five dollars, and again, best ball. It's great because you don't have to set your lineup every week. You just draft the players, aka the most fun part. And then they do all the scoring, and you know one of you uh, takes home the takes home the cash at the end of the season. And of course, we have a deal going with the FFPC. Sign up on our page, and you get twenty five dollars off any FFPC entry. So you can do one of these Sunday night best ball uh, slim that they call them uh, drafts that we've been putting out there for only ten dollars, which is which is pretty awesome. So we're doing one of these live drafts. It's going to be awesome, Ryan. I am drafting 12th. You're drafting in the fourth spot. What do you, what's your oh, instant reaction? What are you, what are you looking at at number four? I mean, I think that's the, it, it, that seems to be the range where you're getting, you're getting one of those running backs. Like it's a, it's after McCaffrey. Mm. I what that what Kamara, maybe cook, maybe you, I mean, it's kind of interesting because no one really pops off. Maybe you're drafting a Kelsey. Uh, like you have in the past, uh, I feel a little naked. I didn't, I didn't bring over the past uh, <laughs> mock drafts. Unfortunately, what are you doing, Ryan? And of course, FFPC, the rules are a little different. One and a half point uh, PPR, standard PPR scoring for the most part. Other than that, it uh, seems like you need to get at least three quarterbacks for a good best ball team. Yeah, inevitably you, one gets injured, one sucks. Maybe you go two. I, I think I have one league where I only have two, but I have Mahomes in there as one of them. So. I think just from the, 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 the variance of injury, right. You we're drafting in April, like shit can happen in the off season still. Yes. And you can be horribly impacted. We've all, we've all <laughs> Ryan, done you do before. own a team with Deshaun Watson as the starting quarterback, <laughs> Deshaun Watson. I also have Jameis Winston. Yes. I also have Zach Wilson. So uh, I have a fun team four minutes and 19 seconds until we're, we're teed off here. And, and this is a perfect way to get Stoked for the draft. Uh, if you needed any more reasons to get excited for the NFL draft, we're doing a Thursday night simulcast with the actual NFL draft. So pull us up on our uh, on our YouTube page, youtubecom sports podcast. We're going to be just going live the entire first round. So again, you don't want to listen to Mel Kiper. You can listen to the sports gambling podcast. Good alternative yeah. programming. Plus, Ryan. plus friends and family. So it yeah, will a be bunch of uh, SGPN contributors, friends of the program. They'll be calling in. The idea is like, hey, I'm a huge Jags fan. Okay, I think we're still <laughs> looking for that Jags fan. You call in, vacancy. Talk about who you want, a- and then react live to the pick. So the, it, it's going to be fun. We got a great uh, list going so far. I don't want to. I don't want to like ruin the night and jinx it, but. The 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 swing the NFC swing is going to be a fire Ooh, segment. Yes. First of all, I, yeah, I think we could have a disgruntled Giants fan, Nagels Bagels, <laughs> joining us along with host of the Golf Gambling Podcast, Steve, host of the NBA Gambling Podcast, Zach Bronner. A lot, a lot of a lot of blue blood in the, in the organization, Sean. I, I hope you're bringing the heat with the Eagles oh, pick because I will be bringing the heat. 
And uh, it's so excited. We're going to be doing on the Eagles, the diehard Eagles podcast. We're going to be doing a draft special as nice. well. So, so much content coming at you. Oh, the NFL theme song. I'm cracking open a Coors Light. It doesn't Ayo. get any better than this. Of course, this uh, podcast, all the podcasts presented by Win Bet. That's right, Win Bet. You want to win big? You can do it with Win Bet. All the excitement and enjoyment of Las Vegas in the palm of your hand. We got a nice parlay boost over there. But again, you're you're looking to sign up at an online sports book. What do you want? You want a sweet offer to get you in the door, and they got it. That's right, a special offer, risk-free bet up to five hundred dollars. Oh my god! That's right. Risk free bet up to $500. Terms and conditions apply. Get the details at winbet.com. W Y N N bet.com and download the app today. Win big with win bet. Let's go, Kramer. Ah, uh, I'm stretching off camera. That's what you didn't see. And if see. you're if you're uh, watching the draft live on YouTube or listening live in the uh, locker room app, you can give us a call at any time. You want to? Uh, maybe you're in the draft. You want to oh. talk some trash to your fellow uh, fellow uh, compadres here. Feel free to do that. Or if you just want to talk uh, NFL draft questions, comments, concerns, what have you, uh, give us a ring on the locker room app. You can get the link to locker room over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. One minute and fifteen seconds, Kramer. Sh- Sean, you told you gave me a little. Uh, you give me a little cold brew. Preface before yeah. the show. I thought I was gonna come with that. I thought you were gonna show up just shot out of a cannon. I, I, I think I my like energy's you're been high. Right. You're reserved right now. My energy's I, been pretty high. I think Kramer. you're holding back. I think you know it's a. I'm looking at the. the I'm looking at the waveforms over here. I'm just not seeing normal Sean. I'm. Ho- I'm wondering maybe get Roman. I, I don't know if we're talking to them later, but maybe we have to say something. See or see something. Say Long something. Cox. I'm. I'm amped up. I'm. Uh, we're talking football. Doesn't get any better than this. Thirty seconds left to go. I don't know what I'm gonna do at the 12 spot again. I'm gonna have to go BPA Ryan, best player available. And don't I have a vertical and horizontal board? I'm looking at here. Look, if you want to, you've never been in the room and made one of those picks. (laughs) You don't know what it's like to sign a card and pass it in. If you want to be a respected fantasy expert, aka fantasy tout. You have to point out to everyone right now that you're going to walk away with two of the top 13 players in this draft, Sean. <laughs> point out the logic of the snake draft, please. Well, Ryan, while we're talking fantasy, proud to announce we got a new fantasy football podcast hosted by Rod Villa Gomez, and we got an MLB betting podcast Here we as go. well. Make sure you subscribe to the Sports Gambling Podcast Network feed. All right, the Which, draft the way, has started, Ryan. Quick compliment while the first team is on the clock. Uh Rod, professional radio man. Yeah, bringing the heat. Re- really uh putting some of the other hosts on notice. Sean. I don't <laughs> you know we like to run a competitive organization and just like the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, Iron Shark. Every design. position is open to competition this fall. I do want them playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey off the board. L- listen. Ooh, and Saquon Barkley goes number two. Ziggy. So maybe we, on, we must have another Giants fan. Help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> let me couldn't, get a little. Saquon of that. couldn't even slip me, to the fourth spot. Let me Ryan. get some of that. Spank wow. train on the clock here at three. He's uh, completely tear up my board. Again, the uh, the algorithm's telling him to go Dalvin Cook. He goes Travis Kelsey. Again, not a surprise. I mean, you could talk me into Travis Kelsey, number one overall. Kramer, you're on the clock here with the number four pick. What are you doing? I, I mean, I just think the situation you have to take Dalvin Cook. I, we saw it last year. You can you can lean into the he's not going to do it again, which is pr- a good argument. Yep. But when I look at the other guys, to me, it's either him or or Henry. Uh, Kamara, there's just too much question about what this offense is going to be with a completely different quarterback. Alvin and Kamara has been taken by uh, Andrew Robb, your resident I'm, Redskins fan. I've seen he just went second. I'm in a slow draft. I have a slow draft going on as well right now, <laughs> and and in the slow draft he went second. I was I was kind of shocked because it just feels like his ceiling isn't quite where it where some of these other guys are. I, Nail- I think when you look at Cook, when you look at even Barkley, when you look at Adams, it's the touchdown ceiling. And that's where I wonder with this, like, what is this offense going to look like? Nails is selected Devonte Adams, which again feels like a uh, pretty safe pick to take him first overall. 
No. First receiver off the board. And people reminding me, I need to switch over. Show them the draft board. Yes, people love that draft board board view over at youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Uh Devontae Adams taken by nails. Can't confirm or deny that is Lenny Dykstra. The slot. How's the slot? Probably, right? Yeah. You think he could figure out a <laughs> best ball draft? You don't have to manage the team. It's it's perfect for Lenny. Jonathan Taylor has been selected and then quickly. Beer guy twenty seven yeah. snags Derek Henry. And the more that I see the draft, Sean, and of course I picked later in the draft for the first three. I think that's where I like to be a little bit better because the difference to me between Barkley and Derrick Henry is almost nothing. Mm. And like to me, all these players, it's a big like if you're not getting McCaffrey in that ceiling. I don't think I'm gonna go running back. I honestly don't see how I go running back. Team fake woke selects Aaron Jones. And actually, Aaron Jones was one of the few running backs left that I would consider taking in the 12 spot. I'm not intrigued by well, Cam Akers. And, and he Sean, I, I took him twice in the second round. Uh, yeah. And and so we're we're seeing well, there was evolution. A little bit there. of that um you know, there was a little bit of Jamal Williams. He left and then, Oh, Aaron Jones and Aaron Jones was going to leave for a little bit. So, yeah. so it was like, we weren't sure what was going to happen, but, but now, now it does seem like Aaron Jones, if anything is going to get some more of those uh, goal line touches that Jamal Williams was getting. So I think his stock uh, deservedly has risen since we last did one of these drafts. And the question becomes, can the green Bay offense carry two first round picks from a touchdown production? Yes, it yeah. can. And, and perhaps you know who knows? Maybe they'll actually go out and get another weapon in the draft. Uh, unclear. Sean, you're almost on the clock. Hoochie Mamas is on the clock. Love these. Uh, so names. you're out, you're just completely out on Cam Akers because obviously the situation would warrant like this could be a a high ceiling play. I know you're not going to go for Tyree Zeke. Kill has been selected by Hoochie Mamas, but I'm I'm kind of with you, Sean. It's this the the way the board is shaken out. Uh, un- unless it's and I I don't want to say uh, unless it's damn it damn it Scott Bowser the host of the Luck Stops here podcast has selected George Kittle who normally I would you know I I totally hate George Kittle but I I've kind of moved past my blinding hate of George Kittle I I, I to me there's a, there's a receiver on the board that's it's like a no brainer and then you know a guy like Eckler I know FFPC he's further down but I I still I like a lot what that can be. But I mean, you know what I'm gonna do, Ryan? The tough. I, yeah, this is a weird board. I'm going double receiver. Give me Stefan Diggs. Yeah, you got to take Diggs. And then give me Justin Jefferson. Mm. Two young studs that I know I are like gonna that. get a ton of volume, high touchdown upside, coming off big years, but not like abnormally high years. I guess Justin Jefferson, obviously rookie year, but I mean, why? If anything, you know, rookie he has a, he has a chance to move up in his second year. Well, and I think you know, for the same reason I took Dalvin Cook, you have it's it's just that offense is going to have opportunities to score. There also could be questions with the defense. It's still going to be a young defense, yeah. So, and and uh, you know, as much as we like to joke about Cousins and everything, it's a productive offense. They play in a dome. It's it's easy for them to get, but some they can put up some points, and yeah. they'll have some games where they put up points. So, I, I think you know, obviously. It's interesting to see how high Justin Jefferson's going, but yeah. you know, you could say Sean he quietly put up the numbers he did last year. So I, I like him in the second round range. I I think you're not reaching because obviously you're not picking for 23 picks. Yeah. So you got to go. I got to go. Antonio Gibson, he's off the board here. Still some big names at the receiver spot available. Running see, back. I love what Nick fu- Chubb has uh, just been selected by Hoochie Mamas. And at, at what if if Zeke falls to me, I have yeah. to take him, right? <laughs> you gotta love our uh, the DJs only and, and no, Team Fake you. Woke has thank selected you. Please, thank Zeke. You. So I go I, home and get your fucking shot. You know, box. I'm looking at my. I have what three picks to go. Cam Akers finally off the board. I was kind of hoping he would slip. I'm gonna get a guy I love, and this is crazy to me. Like I, I again. I kind of like picking later in the draft, but maybe the second round is gonna is gonna change my mind because I really like. I, I feel like I'm gonna end up with a, a talented dude, maybe even someone I would take at the early part of the second mm-hmm. round. And I'm just I'm I'm wait. I don't want to talk about it because I've said <laughs> names before and it just it causes problems. Right. It's you got you got to keep the podcast audience in know, mind, I not know. just you and this well, thirty dollar best ball. You're, you're right. You're right. And, and so right now, I guess looking at the board. Uh, who 
Oh, AJ Brown off the board. Is that early? That felt early. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's he's a monster. DeAndre Corey Davis Hopkins gone. is on, is available. Still I mean, there. He's a PPR machine. I mean, I I, I can't imagine Hop stays out there very long. I, Austin Eckler's I, just been selected. I was very much hoping Eckler was going to be there, but now I can I can say it out loud because I don't really care which guy I end up with. D Hop, DK Metcalf, both on the board. Mm. I'm getting one of those guys, and so we'll 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 see which one it is, but. I love complimenting the Dalvin Cook pick with now what I consider to be a number one receiver. Pretty late too. I mean, I guess I could look running back again here, but I again I think I'm gonna have an option to pick one when it comes back around to me. Yeah, Andrew Robb on the clock. Be interesting to see if he goes receiver here, running back, maybe even tight end. Which by the way, I wonder, you know, maybe he's sitting in the very nice Chase Young jersey that I purchased for him. <laughs> uh or or I guess lost to him in a bet. No, using the whole clock. All right, second round. Really? <laughs> he's calling. Right. He's calling. See if there's any trade offers. You oh, and he has okay. selected yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. So I, it sounds like you're going DK Metcalf here, Kramer. Well, I mean, am I? Would what? What? What, what is the? What is the argument to go anywhere else? Do you go? Maybe. It's, maybe it's Mixon. Sw- I don't love any of those guys. Like I love DK Metcalf in this spot. So I'm going to take DK Metcalf again. It's best ball. I want guys who have the highest fucking ceiling possible. And look at that offense. I mean, he's gonna have a, a three touchdown game, maybe two. Well, and and that brings up uh, brings up a good point. I mean, you you laid out upside, and really, I think people should be focused more on that when they even do regular season long because that's how you win yeah, season true. long is spike weeks. Like guys having huge weeks. It doesn't matter if they're consistently giving you 10 points a game. That's not really going to necessarily help you win. You just need to have a collection of dudes who can constantly within those 12 it's, guys, you have three or four guys that hit that week and carry your team. That's a better way to approach season long as it, well. Also, when you're drafting your bench, having that mentality of going for high ceiling guys who are going to bust out and bust out quick. So you can decide like you, yeah. you're not going to have a lingering decision of like a, a Trey Quan Smith or a Willie Sneed where he's putting up points and, and it's hard to drop eight points a week, but it's also hard to start eight points a week. So Michael Thomas has been taken by spank train, Darren Waller taken by Ziggy. So Michael Thomas I'm Again, so I'm confused on the Saints players this yeah, year. Yeah, what to make of this offense? Except for Adam Trout and are, Jameis Winston. They are at home, and again, I think their defense could have some issues. So I I think yeah. And again, if if Jameis is the quarterback, high turnover potential, which means they could be playing from behind, could be throwing a bunch. So maybe they are the offense to lean into. It's still early. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what to make of them either. Darren Waller, kind of an interesting. Pick. Normally, probably not this high. The FFPC one and a half points per reception certainly uh, boosts him up there. DeAndre Swift has now gone. And Sean, in the last draft we did, Michael Thomas was a third round pick. AJ Brown was a third round pick. So, uh, you know, guy, guys are moving around a little bit here. That they are, Ryan. Going to uh, take a second here, do a quick read. We talk about Roman. That's right. Nobody's perfect. Even the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles, they lost a couple of games. It's all right, you know. Sometimes, even in the bedroom, you might come up a little bit short. But again, don't <laughs> feel, you know, no need to feel bad about it. I don't mean to laugh, Sean. Oh, it's all right. I mean, you know, much like Carson Wentz came up short against the Rams, no, no need to worry. Nick Foles came in and gave them that extra boost. Boost got their confidence going again. Nick Foles probably the perfect guy to endorse. Yeah. Or to bring up when discussing Roman. All you're gonna do is go to getroman.com slash SGP, get a little lead back in the pencil. Again, Roman, it's so easy. You can do it at the uh at your home. Free online evaluation. Last thing you want to do is have to go to a doctor, look him in the eye, deal with that. You don't want to you can do it over Zoom. In between a couple Zoom meetings, uh, fire up the old get Roman Zoom and 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 take care of uh you know, again, get it going. Get your mojo back. It's straightforward, discreet, and it's simple. Just go to getroman.com slash SGP. Complete an online visit. Again, take care of ED without leaving your home. Getroman.com slash SGP. $15 off your first month. 
GetRoman.com slash SGP. Get started now to save $15 off your first month of treatment. Ryan, while I was talking, we got a uh, JK Dobbins, Kyle Pitts and Patrick Mahomes off the board. By the way, I love the D the, the turn of uh Swift and Dobbins. There's a lot of upside there Pitts, That's interesting. This early uh, to me, my decision is between Ridley and Mixon. And there's a little bit of question mm. about what Atlanta is going to look like after the draft. So I'm going to take Mixon. I'm going to take the upside of a bell cow back and what could be a fun offense. Um, you know, we we've seen what he can look like and we've seen what this offense can look like. Uh, Gio Bernard gone, always the thorn in the side. Uh, so yeah, I, I uh, it, I'll take a stab on Mixon in the third round. And, uh, most times, I think. Uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire just goes Sean, and that's another guy who probably in a similar tier. I just, I don't know why I'm hesitant. Maybe it's because of what happened last year. It just maybe it was the weird luck around the goal line. Just seemed like there was something like this guy's going to have some fun games and maybe well, he's get best ball back. But in the third round, it's a little too early. And, and they just traded uh, for Orlando Brown. They're getting the uh, they're, the it's Canadian pick, doctor yeah. that uh, that opted out of the season. They should have a very yeah. good offensive line. Oh no, no I, I like the pick. Oh no, Miles Sanders, who was in my queue, is now gone. Well, and James Robinson, who I also had in my queue. I didn't really think they were going to slip uh, to me. I, I wasn't counting on it, but, but certainly those were running backs I had my eyes on. And you see what's happening right now. People are grabbing that second running back because these are still guys that could be. The guy by themselves, James Robinson, Miles Sanders, uh, Clyde Ed- Edwards Hilaire, who, by the way, that I, I, I take it back. It's a good pick. I'll probably have a lot of him <laughs> by the end of the end of the summer. Yeah, I, there's a. I, I feel like I should go running back, but again, none of these running backs are really that interesting. Ryan, what about drafting a rookie running back? Najee Harris, Travis Etienne, either of those do anything for you? I mean. Najee Harris, I predicted in my mock draft, which is available sports gambling podcast.com to go to the Steelers. And that's yeah. a pretty good situation, but I don't know. Is he, is he worth drafting this high? He went in the fourth round uh, of the last one we did. Uh, so, uh, you know, not out of the question, uh, Travis Etienne went in the fifth round, but uh, uh, Javante Williams went in the sixth round of the last one we did. So uh, certainly, it, you know, maybe they're just going to naturally kind of go up the board as the draft comes closer. And then we'll find out where they go and their spot will settle in yeah. uh, talking about it. Like it's a stock really, because you know, do you think there's going to be value getting him in the third round? Like, is he going to rise to a second round pick? Maybe not. But at this point, is he the guy that you take? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, do you need a, do you need a running back? You, you've done it before, Sean. You you punted Josh on the position. Josh Jacobs, who was one of the guys who I don't like, and then obviously Kenyon Drake just moved to the Raiders, and and so now it's going to be how 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 valuable is he uh, here? I, see, there's some running backs. If I was you, I'd be looking at real hard. Like who? Chris, Chris Carson, Carson. Yeah. David Montgomery. I know you have a. I don't know why you're not as in on, but we saw what David Montgomery did. We're now in the third slash fourth round. You're right. These guys. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'll There's draft. not many left that have a chance to be a guy, and the rookies to me. So you would take I drafted Chris Carson. You would take David Montgomery over Kareem Hunt. I, I feel like whatever it is, I'm still high on Kareem then Hunt. You got to go with Kareem Hunt if that's your guy, because he's not going to be there. A lot of running backs are gonna. There, there won't. When we get back to you, the running backs will either be rookies or guys you know who don't yeah, have I'm a going, role. I'm going Kareem Hunt. We forgot how many yep. catches. That uh, my boy um, Tariq Cohen steals from David Montgomery, and Tariq Cohen's back. Uh, I'm going Kareem Hunt. Yeah, you just there, you have you have something. I think you have a Bears limiter uh, on on players, just like I have one on on the Saints well, this year. I mean, if there's one offense you want to limit, it might be the Bears. Although I I am a huge fan of Allen Robinson, and if uh, I don't even I'm not even going to consider him coming back to me by the time I draft again. But David Montgomery was taken <laughs> by Scott Bowser, host of the Lux Stops Here podcast. I like Bowser's combination, maybe a little bit more than yours. I do like Chris Carson. I, again, it, like I think there's going to be a version of the Seattle team that scores a lot of points, and you know, with, especially with running backs, there's correlation between offensive production and running back production. So to get a guy who's what do you think Seattle's probably a lock to be a top ten offense would you say? 
So that's something I'm you want to do. I'm feeling pretty good where I'm at right now. Stefan Diggs, Justin Jefferson, Chris Carson, Kareem Hunt, Kramer. You're sitting on uh, Dalvin Cook, DK Metcalf, Joe Mixon. Oh, I love you, where I'm at. I got straight up fucking bell cow backs and <laughs> Escalades and whatever you want to call DK Metcalf. You're jealous. Straight I got stud. You're jealous. I got DK. I, I'm gonna. Well, I mean, uh, why would you not be DK I, Metcalf's the fucking man? You know, I I, uh, I definitely have my eye on some uh, some dudes right now. What do you what do you do? You, Probably, are you locked in on a position? Uh, it seems well, like you would go pass catcher here pass again. Catcher. Uh, yes, I, I have. I feel good about the running back situation. I, I'm not staring at any of the guys. I mean, Najee Harris. Maybe I would have considered it uh, because I have some running backs already. Najee so Harris just drafted. He's gone, and now we have our second quarterback. Fake woke selects Josh Allen, mm. former uh, number one fantasy football quarterback, as predicted by yours truly. Amari yeah. Cooper now off the board. Oh, Not that I ever consider taking him. It, are you excited about the Cowboys hype train? Because everyone's going to be all in on their fantasy team. Oh, it's great. Will the win total get to double digits? <laughs> what is it at now? Terry McLaurin. That's a great pick. Definitely someone I was looking at. Love his potential I mean, with Ryan Fitzpatrick. If, going if, vertical. If there's going to be Fitz, if Fitz ends up being the starter. Oh, he It's going to be huge. I think. Well, I think eventually Trey Lance could beat him out for the job, but one way or another, I think he's starting day one. Travis Etienne, interesting. You know, he's getting some buzz, some first round buzz now, Sean. It almost seems certain that we're going to have two running backs taken in the first round now. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you could get the, I think there was a ton of juice, but I, I think the over under is set at a half. And Kyler Murray, the, the running quarterbacks are starting to pop. Ryan, to, you've been notoriously late. Uh, on quarterback, so, to somewhat of your own I'm, detriment. I'm gonna do it again because how is Allen Robinson sitting here for me yeah. in the fourth round to pair with DK Metcalf? Uh, again, another a bona fide number one. I feel like I'm stealing. You guys I, are I, making this too easy. I would not draft a quarterback right now, but again, I think you've you've gone the uh, quarterback doesn't matter to the extreme, Ryan. Well, in let's pre- see. Last draft. last last draft, I had Stafford, Goff, and Dalton. So that's you're certainly right. You're not wrong, as they like to say. In the and, and if you're if you're watching live on YouTube uh, slash Sports Gambling Podcast or listening live on the Locker Room app, give us a ring. What do you? Uh, who's got the best team right now? Ooh. Or are you surprised someone's slipping? Someone's someone's overdrafting. Someone's homerism is taking over. That's usually me. Feel free to tell me how much you love my team so far. Cause I, <laughs> this is my favorite one so far, Sean. I'm going to roster bait a little bit. Dak Prescott has, uh, has gone. That is a disgusting act. Yeah. You know, I'm going to draft. That is disgusting. when I go quarterback, I'm going to draft a guy not coming off a horrific uh, injury that they refuse to show. Z- I have a little, I have a little trend here. If they've, <laughs> if his season oh, ends with oh, an horrible. injury that they, they won't oh. replay, I'm staying away from him. Now, which it wasn't worse than that the UFC fighters leg. So oh. I, the fact that I mean that I saw it that is on. funny UFC no <laughs> issue replaying that it's all over social media. D- Dana mean, White co- pointing out that it was the <laughs> fastest or the first time a fighter had knocked someone out without throwing a, a strike. <laughs> <laughs> nice little nugget there, and uh, you know if Tony Romo was causing that, he would have said what it was a looked like he rolled his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Tony, he's good at calling the football plays. Lamar Jack. Oh wow! So yeah, Catch little update. Up, CD Lamb off the board, and then uh, D Capes going back to back, taking Lamar Jackson going uh, running back here to start the fifth round. Julio Jones uh, taken by Ziggy. Melvin Gordon goes to spank train, and you know what? I maybe should have considered Melvin Gordon, who I don't normally like. But now that Philip Lindsay is out of Denver, he may be getting the carries, the catches, yeah. the volume. I, I I'm kind of kicking myself for not taking Melvin Gordon. Uh, and Sean, I think uh, I think I have to go pass catcher again. Um, I'm tempted to take Hawk and actually grab a tight end a little earlier right no. now. But Jared got he can throw to a tight end. He knows no, how to find a tight a, end. That is a horrible. Pick. I'm tempted to to look as I, a guy who loved TJ Hawkinson. That's I, that's a bad pick. I love me some DJ Moore, but Tampa Bay is going to have an offense. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans still on the board. I'm going to take one of them, Chris Godwin. Mm. Uh, to go third pass catcher now. Well, and last time we did this, I think Decker was able to pull off Godwin and uh, four or five. 
Yep, at the four or five swing. Yeah, he got he got Godwin, he got Mike Evans, and he ended up getting uh, Tom Brady. So again, stacking is important uh, for these uh, for these exercises. They re- it really does help to be able to stack some of these guys. I haven't done a stack yet, Sean, but we'll see. Maybe I'll. Uh, I got some opportunities. Well, you have to have the the quarterback, and you. I think your stacks are hurting, Ryan, because. Overall, your overall strategy of waiting on quarterback hurts your ability to stack. Well, I mean, you know, the the red rifle, aka the red rocket, <laughs> aka Andy Dalton. Ooh, uh, DJ Moore is selected. That that's interesting. I mean, I I think I would have taken him. I've taken him a bunch. So I, you know, the Godwin's a different direction. But DJ Moore, I like. I, w- I actually have Robbie Anderson ahead uh, of him. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Just because of the previous mm. connection with Darnold, I, I think Robbie Anderson is Darnold the quarterback, Sean. Yeah. What is this? You've seen all this like talk about how they didn't they didn't sign the extension and oh they're just um, I mean I think they're posturing could they draft someone a to, quarterback for someone to trade up? Yeah, probably. But I mean, what if they? I mean, I guess it's the question of what if they really like Justin Fields. Does anyone really like Justin Fields, Ryan? Besides the media, I don't know. I mean, I, we think he's going to fall. Justin Herbert. Well, I actually have the Broncos drafting uh, Fields, and I and if you don't know, I was doing a deep dive on Justin Fields. Justin Fields was a really good baseball player. I think that's actually going to appeal to John Elway, also a former <laughs> baseball player. Mike Evans has been selected. Also, Justin Herbert selected by Nails. Herbert could be. Uh, Setting himself up for a great year. Quarterbacks are going early, in my uh, estimation. Well, we got Robert Woods drafted in Javante Williams, running back. Just saw someone comp him to Dalvin Cook, actually. So that that feels a hair high for me this early, considering you got you know legit receiver talent out there uh, to to be taking a, a, a I, running back. I think people feel he's the last guy. Like if I'm looking at the board, he's the last guy. Cause he could be drafted into a situation where he's the guy, Sean. Yeah. And I think that, you know, when I look at the running backs remaining here, I don't see, I don't really see anyone else that is in that potential. I guess the Tampa Bay situation, the Miami situation state, you know, we, there's, there's, but I don't think anyone's going to rely on one guy the whole year. You know, normally I I don't mind taking the 12 spot with these best balls though. It's it's tough because you don't I don't get a pick for 22 <laughs> spots. I you, really have to plan ahead. You got to feel great about taking those running backs because the, you yeah. look what's there now and Yeah, if I didn't go running back, I would have been really You would have just had to punt. And there goes our boy Hawk. Hawk. He's off the board. I, I'm probably not going to go tight end. I'm on the clock, Ryan. T. Higgins. Wow, Bowser's on fire with the picks. Okay, this one to me is easy. Deontay Johnson. You I, love I, him. Well, I think he's just going to be another yeah. PPR machine now that Big Ben is coming back. Assuming he he doesn't have another off season. Yeah, uh, yeah, where he doesn't <laughs> uh, blow his arm out being addicted to pornography. He's got that jerk elbow. You know, there's tennis elbow. There's jerk elbow, and I think that's what was. Uh, was troubling big Ben throughout the season. I could go running back here. Do I take a shot at like a Kenyon Drake? I don't know. That's not no. that interesting to me. No. I don't even, I, I don't know what you do here. Receiver. You know, I think if you wanted to take a tight end, this is an okay range to take your guy. Dallas Goddard. Yeah. Cause <sighs> the, you know, the tight end situation starts to thin out real quickly. Yeah, you're not picking for a while. You know, a a Sean Green fantasy team is built around high quality tight end play. Yeah, and they haven't traded him yet, but Zach Ertz has to go. I think he could be involved in a slight trade off for the Eagles. Yeah, it sounds like. uh, Well, I I I read a couple things about him being swung, expected to be uh, in a deal for a third round or a third day pick. Basically, yeah, I think I think he ends up with the Bills if I had to guess. Oh, uh, Bowser takes a Chase Claypool. (sighs) Wow, just real Homer, real Homer swing. No, I mean, and a lot a of people stack. have Claypool above Deontay Johnson. I'm kind of, I don't know, I the, the PPR angle of Deontay no. Johnson. Deontay Johnson's the first Steeler receiver okay. to take. I think so. And and maybe Juju's. Uh, Claypool, where do you have Juju? Dude, touchdowns. You got to watch out for touchdowns. Clay, Claypool is going to score some touchdowns, and they definitely were making like they were designing plays for him. 
I just Ben likes Deontay Johnson. Period. Yeah. <laughs> period. <laughs> he right. likes what he likes, right? Yeah, I mean, he likes what he likes. We've learned that, right? <laughs> and uh, wow. So now I, I, I'm starting to maybe regret not having taken a running back. Mm. I like the receivers, but I still I like some of the receivers coming up. And boo, Kenny Galladay is one of them because I that would have been a fun stack. Get him with my guy. Oh come on, Danny right? You don't dimes. have to. You don't have to pretend like Daniel Jones is drafted in Co- fantasy. Co- Cooper Cup. I was looking hard at Cooper Cup. You know, I'm in on the Stafford experiment. Patrick Fisher checking in the YouTube chat. I, you know, lo- love the uh, the YouTube chats fired up right now. Getting the getting the Bills uh, represent for Bills Mafia. And there goes Adam Thielen. Ho- oh. Adam hooked on a Thielen. That was an angle you could have gone, Sean. What paired him up with Justin Jefferson? Yeah, and I, and I think I I had that in my uh, last best ball draft where I had Thielen and Jefferson and uh, Kirk Cousins. So nah. honestly, felt kind of gross. I keep finding myself drafting Justin Jefferson and then not wanting to take, <laughs> not wanting to take Kirk Cousins at the quarterback spot. Tight end Logan Thomas. Off the board. Oh, that is that is a stretch, but Andrew Rob is a Redskins fan. I'll allow it. And uh, you know, y- you made fun of me. I have been waiting on the quarterback, but let's stack DK Metcalf with Mr. Unlimited. Oh himself. wow, Ryan. Uh, he's just it. Just because I have Metcalf, and I, 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 he was on the top of the board. I don't think he's going to get back to me in the seventh round. Uh, I could I I would have probably gone receiver here, uh, but uh, damn, I was hoping Lock. I was gonna take Lockett with my next pick if he if he made it back to me too. Jamar Chase, he's uh, he was just selected. I w- and, and Tyler Lockett, like you said, Kramer, he's off the board. Jamar Chase is gonna be a good player, but st- it's still the rookies. It's hard to really be great your rookie year. Like Justin Jefferson was a freak. Yeah. That was an exception. Pretty big outlier there. Brandon Ayuk taken by the uh, 49ers. He could be a nice jump up, especially if they upgrade the quarterback position with Mac Jones. People are saying that Mac Jones is going to red shirt. I, I, I just, you don't, you don't take this a quarterback funnier and funnier. You don't take a quarterback third overall to have him red shirt. I, I really think they end up moving Jimmy. This shit is getting so funny. What do you, what do you, the find? San Fran, just the whole situation. Oh, like they can't do anything right at this. No, point. no 49ers <laughs> fans want him to select uh, Mac Jones. And basically there was a report saying it's down to <laughs> Mac Jones and uh, Trey Lance. So it, it's weird to just put out a leak, a news report that it's definitely not Justin Fields. Definitely not. I no man, I'm telling you the, the Justin Fields doesn't know how to, you, you know, get up on the whiteboard. That might be real, Sean. <laughs> I thought your source said it was, it is. I'm just saying like one source, a guy saying something doesn't mean it's real, but he's I'm telling you, he's going to slip. What's what's up. Who's who's no fan was taken at the top of the seventh round. Juju Smith Schuster also off the board here at seven Oh two. Kramer, what are you looking at? You're coming up here in one pick. What are I you mean, looking to do to round out your team? You did draft a quarterback already. I'm I'm looking. I you know the running back situation. It feels like I'm gonna need to to take someone. But the running backs I'm looking at, like maybe is it a Raheem Mostert? That situation could be good. Um, man, I I really I'm a big fan. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna snag it. I I just love I love Cortland Sutton. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go four deep with my studs at receiver. Cortland <laughs> Sutton, Chris Godwin, Sean to go with DK Metcalf and Allen Robinson. Yeah, I Got, like I like Cortland Sutton, and especially again if they do a something, they get something done in the uh, get a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, do what? What's your take on the Elway wants to see Drew Locke healthy? I think I think there's something to that. Now it's an interesting power struggle with the Broncos because I think the Broncos want to move on, and I think Justin Fields could be their guy. I I still think here's what here's what I'm predicting. I, oh, I think Washington so. trades up to the eight spot with Carolina, which is obviously shopping the pick right now. They take they take Trey Lance. Justin Fields is available for the Broncos, and they draft him. Gasecki oh. has uh, been selected, and Evan Ingram. Wow. Raheem Mostert as well off the board here. Little tight end run. Yeah. 
Should we? Uh, you want to talk to Bowser? Yeah, give him a bring him on the old locker room app. What's up, Bowser? No, well, he's not here. All right, we'll move on without him. <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> What's happening, Bowser? Good. You you keep snaking my picks here. <laughs> no, you've you've had a couple guys that I really wanted. Well, and the and the Eagles can tell you firsthand. He certainly has huge game potential in his arsenal. So I, I don't I don't I don't mind that pick at all. Ryan uh, Robert are uh, tons of fun. Tunyon has been selected, and Odell Beckham, who again, <laughs> oh, oh no. God, I hope not. I mean, not that I want to, not that I so, want to draft him. Or real anything. quick, Odell in the seventh round. Would you even consider that, Sean? You know what, Odell Beckham, not on my board. Not on your board. Just not a guy I want. At, <laughs> I don't want to root for him. I don't want any part of him in fantasy. I mean, yeah, if he's there in the twelfth round, sure. But you saw that Cleveland offense. That Cleveland offense was legitimately better without Odell Beckham Jr. There. Yeah, I don't know. Ba- Bowser, Hoochie what about Mamas? Take Leonard Fournette. Ooh, okay. Loading up on Here, that. Wait, what did Bowser just say? Sorry, so ba- he's he's stacking Higgins. Yes, nice. So I'm going to select Bowser. Uh, I like this. There's upside there. I'm drafting QB one, Jalen Hurts. Now, if I was a real dick, I would draft uh, Burrow. <laughs> just to throw off uh, Bowser stack. But I, I don't want to do that. More so, just it hurts myself, and I don't want to. Uh, no pun intended, right? Yeah, a little pun intended. People are really upset they couldn't hear Bowser. I'm sorry I fixed the situation. Okay, Every, up, man, Bowser is, is uh, you can hear him. It's everything's okay. Well, and I want to. Uh, it, there's a chance the Eagles draft him. I'm going to go Devonta Smith because then I have Devonta <laughs> Smith, <laughs> Dallas Goddard, and Jalen Hurts. Although I think well, he, I appreciate you being a gentleman here, Sean. You have honor, and uh, <laughs> I, you got, I, I got my stack belt just nice there. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want him without the Q, without his wow. receiver one. I mean, I, I like Joe Burrow wow. obviously, but I. Yeah. And he is he your is he your first uh, quarterback drafted? Yeah, he's my QB one now. So, and I got Mixon, so I got the little piece of that Bengals offense with Bowser. I'll be rooting for the Bengals to score touchdowns. Yeah, Cut. I mean, I think they're going to be uh, playing from behind a lot this year and uh, have a chance to get us a lot of that garbage time stuff that we love so much. Kramer, if you scroll down a little bit on the uh, draft big board, I can give you a rundown of my team, Stefan Diggs, Justin Jefferson, Chris Carson, Kareem Hunt, Deontay Johnson, Dallas Goddard, Jalen Hurts, and Devonta Smith. Kramer, your team is sitting at Dalvin Cook, DK Metcalf, Joe Mixon, Allen Robinson, Chris Godwin, Russell Wilson, and Cortland Sutton. Feels like you can probably go uh, anywhere here, maybe considering uh, at, a, at another running back. I I think it's you, you, uh, you definitely nailed it. I, I, I want to, I'm looking at the running back depth and I don't like, obviously I have two guys and uh, we're what sitting here in the eighth round. No one here has a, has a done, a done up situation, but there's definitely some guys that could opt into a very good situation. Mm. You, you, you want to talk about a guy like AJ Dillon, uh, even like a Ronald Jones, uh, just because of the offense, uh, they're going to score touchdowns, teams that score touchdowns, good situation. Um, even like a mo- like what's the deal with miles Gaskin? Like, where do you put him in the yeah. list? Because he I was, was eyeballing him right now too. Yeah. He's super fun. And he was productive when he was playing like that. That's the thing about a Gaskins. Like he was a 20 point a week guy, but when then he also, was playing. I mean, also th- Miami, there is talk of them taking a, a running back I know, late that, first round. So the, the, they, all they of, clearly don't seem happy with him. All of these guys are a bit of a mess. And then you have like, there's still legit timeshares available. And so I don't know, like I, obviously I got it. I got to take one. I got to throw a bullet in the chamber for a running back. AJ Dillon was looking at him because boy, if Aaron Jones goes down that dude, yeah. he's, a, he's a league winner. Well, and especially with no Jamal Williams as well. Sean, your guy, Devonte Parker. He just always falls off a, the board. Always uh, stuffs the stat sheet. 
And uh, you know, but then there's also still some pass catchers I really uh, like here. A Rob took a Robbie Anderson. A uh, I just ha- he was on my queue next. I thought he was gonna slip to me, man. That's a- yeah. We got we got a little bit here. Kramer, what are you what are you working on? Uh, you know, I'm I'm very intrigued by Miles Gaskin uh, as per usual, but I think I've been more infatuated with Ronald Jones and how good he's looked. Again, I guess it's a mini stack with Chris Godwin. The offense is going to score points if he's getting those carries in the red zone. He's going to score a touchdown. So again, I want a running back who's going to be on a top offense. I think most people project the Bucks to be one of those offenses. There you go. Ronald Jones and then the aforementioned Miles Gaskin, he's off the clock. Oh, well Bowser, what do you uh you're not you're not picking until late in the ninth. We're we're wrapping up the eighth round here. What are you looking to add to your arsenal right now? I mean, ideally a, a pass catcher, but uh best best available. You know, I, I'm seeing some guys right here where it's like if they're on the board, I'm gonna it's a it's a nice little move there. Uh, there, I mean, this is one of those again. Like, I, I look at the pass catchers, and it's like, damn, I should have taken a running back earlier because there's still a bunch of guys I like. As compared to when you look at the running backs, and it's like, Jesus. And, yeah, and I mean, going heavy on running backs early, I, I, I think I set myself up good here for the next couple of rounds uh, to keep getting guys like, like you said, you guys were talking about earlier. I mean, it's all about getting guys with the highest potential upside. I want guys that have thirty point potential. I don't care about the floor, really. Yep. Exactly, Bowser. Uh, you host a podcast. The luck stops here. What, what kind of guests you got coming up? Uh, I got Johnny Pemberton from uh, NBC Superstore coming up this week. Oh yeah, and uh, Desi Jedikin from uh, the Hollywood Crime Scene podcast. But so those are both going to be great shows this week. Awesome, Bowser uh, gives you a little uh, Vegas flavor. Brings on some comedians. L- a little slice of everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try and try and keep it mixed up, you know and. But you know, people all have our, our DGENs in all kinds of different ways. So it's fun to, especially with the rise of crypto now. I'm finding so <laughs> many comics are becoming crypto DGENs. It's easy to really hashtag DGENs only. All right, little update on the board. Trey Sermon has uh, been drafted. Will Fuller, of course, down in uh, Miami. So dealing with a tough quarterback situation, as you know, yeah. to a sucks. Lavisca Chenault. <laughs> Who was who was kicking around in my queue? DJ Chark and Lavisca both off the clock. I love Chanel. Love the pick. Love Chanel and and I think yeah. it, I think a sneaky stack of taking Trevor Lawrence and uh, Chanel, or and even if you can get DJ Chark in there because I I still think there's some issues with their uh, defense. But uh, now now that I don't have a chance at Chanel, the idea of Trevor Lawrence isn't that appealing, honestly. Jerry Judy, ninth round. Hmm. He could be, he could be real interesting. Not a bad pick, Sean. I'm on the clock, and, yep. and I, you know, I look at the running backs, and I, I see David Johnson a little bit further down the board. Like that's mm. this interesting situation, but seems like the Patriots like Damian Harris a lot, and I don't see how this offense is too much different than it was last year, and they're going to run the rock. And I think Damian Harris. I don't know if he does it game in and game out, but I think he's going to have some big games, Sean. So I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing another bullet, another running back. Uh, Damian Harris. Maybe I'm going to regret not taking a tight end here. I think some guys might go, but that, that's, I like it now. I got four running well, backs. While we're four talking tight ends, Hunter Henry, Janu Smith, did they, did neither of them provide a ton of fantasy value because they both eat into each other? I think, I mean, I, I it kind of makes me like Damian Harris a lot because I think they're <laughs> going to be in two tight end sets. So both those guys can block all right. Bowser, what are your, th- what are your thoughts on the Patriots tight end situation? Um, you, you know, they have one of my, uh, former Bruins that I love, uh, Devin Ozzy Ozzy. So, Oh yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's a block of granite up there. So, you know, I've always <laughs> thought like one of these NFL teams really should run a magic three offense with a single back, three tight ends. One guy who's kind of a main blocker. One guy who, who's a flex receiver and a an hybrid type. And then one just straight burner wide out to the outside and you can run it down their throats or spread out and go no huddle. Just as easy, you know, and it creates a crazy matchup problem. Well, why why do you think they signed Nelson Aguilar? <laughs> he's he's their burner. You're you're in Belichick's <laughs> brain right now. But I've always felt like the Magic Three. If someone just ran that as a base offense, like they could revolutionize the tight end like even more than it has already happened in the last ten years or so. So, uh, 
Kenyon Drake has been selected. Who is he? I had him in my running back queue again. Uh, don't, I, did too. I, don't, I would have taken him right there before you. Did, oh, so. Well, so can't even get excited. Jarvis Landry <laughs> has been selected who I think quietly is kind of a steal because he will be the number one in that Cleveland offense. Uh, I think. And again, I'm, I'm just hoping they get rid of for Cleveland's sake, get rid of uh, Odell. But I, I, I think especially this late, he he's, he's fun to, it's not a bad pick. Dyson. Again, the offense should it's at least seems the offense is trending in the, in the right direction. Oh man. I, I will say Sean, I, I felt like we were talking last summer about how it was degenerate of me to be doing best ball drafts in like <laughs> June. Oh, they're so fun. <laughs> it's April, bro. I've been two this month already with you guys. <laughs> Matty Stafford. Matt Stafford is hey, gone. Now, I did read I'll give I'll give the to people still listening right now a little advice on these uh Ooh. that I read today where with the quarterback situation, a three quarterback uh rosters and best ball slims have a eight point five percent edge. Oh, mm. as opposed as opposed to wasting an extra roster spot. Interesting. Yep. So, all right. I, I, guess, and I mean, if you think about it, if you grab a guy that you like in a stack, and then like two dome quarterbacks late that you know are going to have a chance to light it up late in the season, it's it's not the worst move. You're probably one one out of three is probably going to have a decent week for you. Yeah. And then there's the, uh, then there's also just grabbing the Sean Watson and hoping that he uh, lands somewhere. <laughs> well, yeah, like, Does he get I mean, drafted in this one? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's in my queue. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever, you know, they're going to figure it out. I'm before, not the law. They're going to figure it out before the season, right? Like they're not going to play the NFL season without Deshaun Watson. And yeah. they did it with Vic, but Vic, you know, he, I, I, I killed if animals. I had to, <laughs> if I had to predict uh, Deshaun Watson, for five games of set. Five games. So they get slightly more than Brady for deflating balls. <laughs> he de- he deflated his balls in a different way. But, um, oh, Sean. I'm going. I'm going five games. All right, Bowser's about to be on the clock. Hoochie oh. Mama's right in front of you. Well, hopefully he doesn't take Debo Samuel. That's who I'm going with. Uh, with well, I I mean, he, he might be right listening now. right might now. Might do that so. just to spite me, but Jake uh, Paquin. Uh, in the uh, in the uh, YouTube chat, he he said he likes the idea of of taking Samuel I, instead of um, instead of taking Ayuk yeah, so much well, higher. I already have Kittle too. It kind of gives me a little forty dollars. Well, there, there we go. Yep, oh, of course. Jinxed it. I curse myself. Uh, All right, Bowser, you're on the clock. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to go with another receiver. Uh, you know, I'm going to make a play here for Waddle. Ooh, and I think he might end up with your Eagles, Sean. That's I think true. That's not unheard of there. And I think he's going to end up in a decent spot. I think he might be the best, better pass catcher coming out of Alabama with the better hands, better route runner. So I think that might be a nice high upside play for me. Where do you go now, Sean? It's interesting. Cause they're all recommending. I take a quarterback, which I, I don't know if I'm dying to go quarterback no. here. I'm actually going to go running back. And am I crazy? I'm taking James Connor. I, I don't know if chase okay. Edmonds is the every down back. I think there's still might Connor be a little, for a reason. Yeah, they brought him in. I, again, I'm not getting a every down back. Is this your se- this late? Now I have another pick here. So you, you have three running backs, four or four receivers, a tight end, and a quarterback. Yeah, a lot of Eagles. I do. Went a little Eagles drunk over the last couple. Exactly. Of it could go quarterback again. Do I go receiver? I'm gonna I'm gonna check over on my receiver board. See see what's cooking over there. Michael Pittman. That is an that's an interesting one. Hello. You could just um, <sighs> what? No, I was I was uh the receiver the receivers seem to be falling. There's some guys who are gonna be productive still out there by a mile. Corey Davis. <sighs> I mean, that's a complete wild card situation because he could be a monster. I'm going Corey Davis. Fuck it. Rolling the dice. <laughs> Zach Wilson whoa, whoa, could be whoa. a beast. <laughs> All right, I got I got an interesting play here. I'm going to go with Zach Moss. Ooh, I feel like he's an injury away from really putting up some numbers in Buffalo's offense. Uh, I was, you know, I was. They're they're one of the. I mean, both guys were are available now. One is available tenth round. I, I know the offense wasn't running the ball much, but it's a productive offense. Again, the formula of you want 
a running back that's going to be on a s- offense that's scoring touchdowns. I know it's simple, Sean. It's John Madden logic. But <laughs> simple systems. Simple He's systems. One of work. those guys who will get penetration. All right, Bowser. Thanks for calling in, man. We'll talk to you on the uh, draft special come Thursday night. All right, buddy. Uh, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later. All right, later, man. Let it ride. Let it ride. Yeah. So I got Hurts, Jalen Hurts at quarterback, Kareem Hunt, James Conner, Chris Carson, receiver Corey Davis, Justin Jefferson, Devonta Smith. Stephon Diggs, Deontay Johnson, Dallas Goddard. I like it. I, I took a couple shots so far, a couple safer plays. How are you feeling about your uh, team, Kramer? I love my team. I I, <laughs> I mean, it, you should love your team, but I I do. I like that I have Russell Wilson. I like that I have like a bona fide guy who has a high ceiling. Uh, wow, David Johnson. I was looking at David Johnson. I mentioned him yeah. last round. Well, and and He's honestly, got the situation all by himself. Well. I, I don't know about that. There's a kid by the name of Philip Lindsay. And I, I think the 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 head coach they brought in, legitimately old school guy, because yeah. he's actually super old, I think is gonna <laughs> love the way a guy like Philip Lindsay runs the rock. You don't get the PPR points, yeah. but David Johnson in head of him, uh, sneakily, I, I think Philip Lindsay, and I've drafted him a couple times, probably tipping my hand here on the live show, but I, I love Philip Lindsay in these best ball drafts. Yeah. Someone in the YouTube chat who I won't reveal their name says, uh, my buddy is Corey Davis's Eskimo brother. <laughs> it's a nice little nugget. Hashtag Dej and Zoli. Oh, and I, I certainly was considering pouncing on Tom Brady. Uh he got it's a baby fucking wheel, man. Pouncing he, on Tom Brady. Well, I have huh? Ronald Jones. Like his son. I, <laughs> I have Ronald Jones. I have uh, Chris Godwin. It would have made a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, at this point, uh, I need a tight end. I liked Hunter Henry a lot last year. I see a world where he he's a guy that's going to be productive with Cam Newton. Period. Uh, yeah. I think he can block. He's an inline tight end, and it's going to work. Uh, so I don't know. Haven't we watched it before? Right. It was with a different set Gronk and Aaron Hernandez, but that's what they're trying to do here. Yep. And in that ser- is, scenario, is John Smith, the uh, murderer in this yeah, scenario, he's, uh, he's unfortunately <laughs> the Aaron Hernandez in the situation because Hunter Henry is the Gronk, like the physical so Kramer beast. grabs Hunter Henry Marquise Hollywood Brown went right before you. Don't mind the Hollywood Brown pick with the, the best ball format. He he's definitely going to score for you. A couple yeah, he, he can weeks. have a couple big games. Gronk is still available. In a in a tight end heavy uh, world, Ryan, maybe you maybe you look to throw Gronk in there to really round things out. Nah, do I? I mean, what scares me about Gronk is like he literally could just play a couple games. Yeah, the hangover is going to be real for Gronk. Like, there's no way Gronk <laughs> is signing a deal where he has to play before week four. You know, like he's gonna Gronk's gonna have a mysterious injury, or maybe he'll just get busted for PEDs for the first four weeks because he doesn't want to play. <laughs> Pittman finally goes. You can tell Spank Train, who uh, you know, smart guy, ha- hangs out in our Slack, listens to other smart people. He's making good. I, I love the Pittman pick. He was a guy I was considering yeah. there, even though I was going to take him earlier. But then I realized Carson Wentz is throwing yeah, he's, him, so he's that the quarterback. is quarterback. Yeah, so that is not someone I want to be connected to at all in fantasy. You guys can't let me have anything nice. I was hoping to Todd stack. Gurley went in the tenth round. He he just seems like fantasy poison at this point. But I think so. He, he did have what nine touchdowns last year, so maybe I mean, there's still a couple more touchdowns left in those old knees. I was gonna take Jono Smith if he made it back to me. And just stack the New England tight ends. They're gonna be productive this this year. I I do believe that. I think I literally think Belichick's like fuck it. Let's go back to that shit. <laughs> He's like, uh, they're just gonna run some some clever like Cam running the ball, and you think they get a quarterback? I don't think they're gonna get a quarter. I I don't think you go all in and then draft a rookie quarterback. Like that's not a Belichick move. No, which I, I mean, Cam Newton suck. really sucks though. <laughs> no. That's the other side. They're so all in on it. It's weird. Yeah, they even got the owner. Like, yeah, well, he just got he got. Uh, he got COVID. It just it got brain fog. I <laughs> no, got shit Michael, talked at his own camp. That's what happened. <laughs> Michael Gallup has been selected. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah. I mean, again, I get, I get wanting to be a part of that, uh, part of the offense there. I'm very balanced once again. Uh, there's a lot of things I can do here. 
man, I, I think I, I'm very, very tempted to take a backup quarterback right now. And and there goes Deshaun Watson. I'm very mm. tempted. Ryan Tannehill, yeah, plays to big numbers sometimes. Well, and, he, and, and he, they have he a shitty defense. Had that, he randomly had uh, a little bit of those running games. So it'll be interesting to see if that uh, can continue. But he had some legit rushing touchdowns. I don't know. I don't know how. You know, I don't know how. Uh, I I don't think this the is the chance that's going to happen again. Uh, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna wait. Uh, you know, let's just take another high upside tight end. I think Cole Komet's ready to to explode onto the scene. Uh, another bear, but I mean, we saw it, we saw it a little bit. We saw it a little bit last year, Sean. And so I you think like him better than Hayden Hurst or Adam Troutman? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, Troutman's interesting, and I think I am kind of protecting myself because I've taken him so many times. But yeah. you know, I think. I, I think Adam Adam Troutman is still a figment of a lot of our imaginations. <laughs> he, third round pick out of Dayton, have you heard? And so I I do think we've seen Cole Komet make some plays. Like I know that guy can play. He's a Notre Dame tight end. I trust that. I watched him play for the Bears. I think he can play at Soldier Field. I, I just Troutman, you're buying into it. You're buying a share of a situation that you're not sure if he's going to be able to deliver into. So that that would be my angle there. Mm. So well, yeah, now, yeah, but the the Titan or the Saints have gotten rid of uh, Jared Cook. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're just like I just don't know if Troutman can be a guy. I, I don't know what the Saints' offense is going to look like with Jameis yes. Winston. Uh, I think uh, there's enough question for me to say I'd rather see Cole Komet in his second year doing it. I think he, you know, I think he's poised to get a lot of the work in the red zone. We saw how often. That that offense targeted the tight end in the red zone with Jimmy Graham. Um, so Ryan Tannehill has been selected. Jameis Winston has been selected. <laughs> Alexander Madison has been selected. Brandon Cooks. Oh my God! I again, you don't want to probably don't want to be involved because you don't know who's going to start for quarterback. However, if Deshaun Watson only misses four or five games, Brandon you know? Cooks the rest of the season could be a nice best ball steal. I I I thought. I could wait with with this kind of draft. I thought I could wait one more round uh, for Madison. Now I'm terrified. I don't have Dalvin Cook's backup. Oh wow! What it's do a real, I? What, real dick move. What do I do here, Ryan? I'm I'm got two people in front of me. Man, I could go really. Uh, well, why don't you re there? I'll rattle off your team uh, while uh, while you're thinking, Sean. Sitting on uh, Stephon Diggs, Justin Jefferson. To go with Deontay Johnson, Devontae Smith, Corey Davis, five receivers, Chris Carson, Kareem Hunt, and James Conner, three running backs with Dallas Goddard, the tight end, Jalen Hurts, the quarterback. I think you're, you're either getting tight end depth here or you're taking another running back, Sean. Mm. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Devin Singletary go. Devin Singletary would have been an interesting pick. I mean, he could be the starting running back. We know they like Zach Moss, but. Sean, there's a guy on the board that helped win you two hundred thousand dollars. Tariq Cohen. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about coming off that injury though. Okay, it's late. We're late now, Sean. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, you said David Montgomery wasn't a fourth round pick because of this guy. You're right. I'm gonna go. Uh, oh, you just go back to back, little scat back situation. You're right. I I did take Naheem Hines, and you're right. I should throw. I should throw Tariq Cohen a bone. Yeah, there you draft go. Draft him. I like that. I mean, high upside, cat pass catching running backs. I know. Yeah. The, I mean, Tariq Cohen was out for a. Lo he got hurt early, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I I'm so, a little worried about it, but I, I think he should be fine. And again, Andy Dalton, Nick Foles are actually both decent to uh, throw into the running backs. Big Ben goes. <laughs> Our buddy Sean, uh, Scott that's Bowser. secret weapon every time. <laughs> Oh, well, because I, I I keep finding myself with Deontay Johnson, so I've been I have been grabbing some Big Ben, which uh, you know the tides have turned when you're grabbing Big Ben. Hoochie Mama's on the clock. Yeah, I mean Bowser's is full on Steelers boner, but know? he's got it. I mean that Roethlisberger Claypool stack. I you could do a lot worse. I mean now I, I don't know now perhaps I got two tight ends. I got four receivers. I got. Four running backs. I got a quarterback, Sean. I'm as balanced as you get. 
how many rounds do we have left? We're on what twelfth round, so we all get what six more picks. Yep. Oh man, seven more picks. It's only the twelfth round. Philip Lindsay, go Sean. Damn it. Yeah, it, you know this is what I'm talking about. You say we got to talk and say the players' names, and look what happens. <laughs> you spoke. Uh, I mean. Yeah, I, I'm fine not getting him. I I did like grabbing those pass catching running backs, but I I do think Philip Lindsay is a steal in best ball. Now what's next? Uh, I think always like running back depth, right? Or is it time to grab that backup quarterback? I still see a number of quarterbacks that are are fine for me as a backup when I have Russell Wilson. Guy doesn't miss starts. <sighs> it's. Although, Where's although clear, going? it's clear that they're done letting Russ cook, and his and his like upside isn't as high as it should be. Uh, I I think there's going to be some games. I I think it's just they're going to be frustrating. I mean, we I don't know why we're thinking anything's going to fucking change with that team. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna look great at times. And you're gonna be like, how how do they look so shitty at others? Kirk Cousins off the oh, board. No. Henry Ruggs, interesting. He's a best. He's a fun best ball guy with all that speed. Yeah, just the, the quarterback doesn't well, I, doesn't have the ability. To I, throw I feel it down like we field. haven't talked about it, but I I do think the 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 Raiders do seem like the dark horse in the in the yeah. QB first round move. And uh, some yeah. of those, I, I was hearing like a hypothetical trade <laughs> where Brandon's always into quarterbacks, man. Where basically the Raiders sent uh, Derek Carr to the Bears. And for some picks, and then eventually use that to trade up. So I, I don't know. I, I could see, I could see the Bears trading for Derek Carr, Gabe Davis, Sean. That's one He's of your fun. guys, JD McKissick. Oof. Also, also fun. I mean, I think he had a really crazy PPR run there, and that a lot of it was Alex Smith. But yeah, Sean, I, certainly this late. Uh, you're telling me. That a coach that wants to chew kneecaps mm. goes out and signs a running back that runs hard as fuck, and he's not going to be getting those goal line carries. He's not going to be in. I mean, he he can catch passes like Jamal Williams in play for third down back duties. Oh, why I, did I not take him? I I love this. I love the fact that he just the coach brought him in. He's a yeah. culture changing guy. He's going to be an interesting back. And while I don't think you know, obviously the offense will probably limit what he'll do. But he'll still have a, a maybe a, a two touchdown game or two. Twelfth uh, round, I, I like that pick. Of course I do. I'm roster betting again, Sean. <laughs> I love my own are, picks. Are there, have there been? I'd any like picks? to thank myself. Have there been any picks you've made that you haven't liked, Ryan? Uh, sometimes it happens. I mean, Ronald Jones. I, I do feel like I'm smitten for him in a way that I shouldn't be, and, I, and I'm maybe a little too high on him. Yeah. But well, you got you got another pick coming up here in a few spots in the thirteenth oh. round. Walk people through what are you thinking position wise? Well, I'm wondering if if I'm gonna have to if I'm, if I'm being put in a situation where Baker Mayfield's gonna be on my team. Uh, again, we're pretty late here. The upside of the offense, th- he's interesting, but then also just a, a slew of running uh, backup quarterbacks. I think. I think we're at the point where I probably should take a backup quarterback. Maybe I go pass catcher. Maybe mm. I grab another. The fact that Jalen Rager is still out there, Sean, that's that's intriguing to me. I, I are are they just out on him? Like it, no, like what the fuck? It, I don't understand. He he didn't look horrible. You were kind of high on him. He was yeah. banged up. Like we didn't really get to see him. Didn't have a. I mean, again, like a bunch of rookies. The situation by the end of the year, like they're rolling fucking Sudveld out there. So that that explains it all. So uh, there, there's a second year receivers. They tend to take a step. I, no, I, I, I think, think he's. I think Jalen Rager is going to be good, or this, you know, this Sirianni offense is going to be good for Rager. I mean, sometimes guys get caught in the wash, and it's just like, oh yeah, new guys, rookies. Let me take them instead of this like, guy who didn't really do it last year. So, all right, what's next, Sean? Does feel like uh, you could be going quarterback here, Ryan, in a couple picks. Well, there's also the receiver situation. There's also the opportunity to take another pass catcher to to see what's going on. There's also running backs. I I could still I could go running back again. There's some rookies. There's also some guys that just know how to 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 score touchdowns. Le'Veon Bell has been drafted. Ooh, James White threw up in my mouth. A little Tua bit. and Cole Beasley. So Cole Cole, of course, was always was in my queue. He's always in my queue. Always in my heart. Keeping a nice. 
spot there for a C money, AKA Cole Beasley. Oh, Derek Carr. Derek was, Carr and not, Austin Hooper. Not my guy. So I was, I was, I had Austin Hooper in my queue. I thought he was an interesting play here this late. Kramer, what are you doing? Are you going quarterback? I mean, I don't know why he's so goddamn down the the draft board. I'm gonna snag him now, though. Sterling Shepard. Mm. I, 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 we heard a lot about it last year. Like the offense was kind of designed around Sterling Shepard. I think he wasn't the right guy for that. Now he slides over into his true slot position, and I think he's gonna have a. a I think he's gonna have a great year. Kenny Galladay is the perfect complement for him. Darius Slayton on the outside as well. Shepard's gonna run around in the slot and be really dynamic. I think this could be the change in the offense that all rise. Daniel Jones and Joe Judge. Man, I was getting pumped up, Sean, watching the Giants' <laughs> offensive line coach just doing the Notre Dame pro day, just getting in there, fucking slapping pads. Let's go, Sterling Shepard in the thirteenth round. Are you kidding me, Sean? No, I'm not. Are you Latavius kidding? Murray has been selected right well, that, after. So Latavius Murray was the other guy I was considering. We've seen what he can do. Kamari gets hurt. This offense is shifted up a little bit. We don't know. Jared Cook finally goes. Jared Cook and and I don't know. I I kind of still think Donald Parham. I I think Jared Cook's kind of days have passed him. Honestly. He's just so he just looks like he's gonna get hurt. He's so tall. He's so upright. Gerald Everett goes. Rashad Bateman. He's a he's a fun one because he's gonna get someone good. Well, he gonna, could he could end up on like the Packers if he yeah. gets it if he's selected at the end of the first yeah. round and ends up with the Green Bay Packers. Look out! I mean that is that's a nice little uh, roll of the dice there. Well, someone that's what I was gonna say. Where he's gonna be selected, he could definitely be selected to a very good team. Yeah. What's next? What do you, you got? <laughs> Why two do you picks? keep saying what's next? What's, I'm saying what's next. You you got two picks, Sean. I do. I have two picks. I'm probably going to go tight end, maybe a quarterback. I have some receivers as well. Maybe I just draft a quarterback and receiver combo. I got a lot of options here. And you keep saying you have a lot of options. Yeah, I mean, I think you you're balanced. I, I would probably look at a tight end. I, I think it's such an important position, Sean, mm-hmm. and I. I you can't not score in it. You can't have a guy that's going to get you five catches for 50 yards and get you those 12 and a half points. You, you, so I, that would be my advice. I think, I think you want to walk away with at least one. Maybe you just snag two. Maybe you make a play. Um, maybe you protect yourself and then, and snag Ertz, and maybe he goes somewhere and ends up being protected or a bit productive. I certainly would take at least Hayden Hurst goes. I don't think you were looking at him, so that's no. okay. I'm gonna. You're right, Ryan. I'm gonna draft Zach Ertz, and I'm also gonna draft Anthony no. Ferkser. That, that's a good combo. Anthony Ferkser. I mean, did, does tight, the Titans have another tight end? What am I missing here? I think uh, no. Well, they have what's his name? Who was the dude that randomly showed up in the playoffs and pissed everyone off? <laughs> I'm pulling up there the Titans the depth, depth chart. chart. I but he's I mean he's he's the he's the guy. Yeah, and I don't I mean I don't know they use Jonu a lot like it there seems, goes Gronk. I think Jonah was a different player though. That's I guess. But also that, they lost Corey Davis, so you know I, I it's uh, Jeff Swaim. Mm, no, he's not getting you. Tommy excited. Hudson, Jared Pinkney, Ferkser. I, I think, think Ferkser. I think they'd like Ferkser too. No, I mean I like the pick, Sean. Now you 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 finish that position. Bowser Bowser picked up Gronk. You you actually might want to end up with a fourth tight end. Why is that? I, I don't know. I got I'm a believer. Like it's easy to wash your tight end position out. It's it's easy to wash your tight end out. As Colby says, someone takes your ass to lunch. You you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, I think tight ends get hurt. I think the injury again. It's one and a half. I got. I, got a, I only have one quarterback. I I gotta. I gotta round out my quarterbacks around. How many picks do we have left? Well, we have the fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth. That's five. That's four. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Oh, you already took your. I see. I have five picks. Yeah, Sean Cam Newton just went. That's the alarm oh, for everyone go. to start taking their backup quarterback. 
Yeah, maybe waited a little too long on, t- on quarterback. Mm. Although I got two I like, or at least like for best ball in this situation. Sam Darnold is available. Ryan Fitzmagic, Zach Wilson, Danny Dimes still on the board. You got to draft him, right, Ryan? <laughs> Just prove you're a fan. Uh, yeah. Miko Hardman taken uh, right in front of you. Carson Wentz has gone to the Hoochie Mamas, Gus Edwards, Rashad Penny, Chubba Hubbard, and Miko Hardman. Chubba Hubbard's also an interesting. He could end up in a decent spot too. Oh man, I'm supposed to take Baker Mayfield, but give me Danny Dimes. <laughs> oh Ryan, the confidence is high. You're actually drafting the New York Giants yeah, quarterback. Well, those legs, man, that top speed. <laughs> have you seen it? Have you heard about it? I have. It's incredible. I feel like I need a tight. I I I don't know if it's tight end. Spank train selected Dawson Knox, which mm. isn't a bad pick, but there's. I mean, if. If Zach Ertz goes to the Bills, what's that pick looking like? You're assuming he's just going to beat out Dawson Knox. I I don't I don't know what happened to Zach Ertz. Is he just completely cooked, or was it like a bad situation dealing with injuries, and maybe he's got a little bit of juice left? I I think I think he has a little bit of juice left, and I could see him in a decent situation having a, a somewhat okay season. You know, like five touchdowns. 50 catches. I, I think that's a decent, uh, decent prediction for Ertz. Although it'll be interesting to see where he ends up. Man, again, I think the oh, and another guy, Darnell Mooney, pairing him with Allen Robinson, that would have been fun. And you know, I st- oh, and then Andy Dalton, he's still available, Ryan. I, you know, I see that. I'm aware of that, Sean. Get my Bears stack. Gardner going. Minshew is available. Giants yeah. should really consider trading for Gardner Minshew. You keep saying that. No, I, mean, I think they I, have their guy, Sean. They have their guy. <laughs> no, but I mean, in all seriousness, I I think Gardner Minshew is worth taking a look at. Baker Mayfield off the board. Is T.Y. And, uh, Baker Mayfield's pretty interesting because that offense kind of came to life there towards the end of the season, and a lot of the a lot of the Browns um, pass catchers, Donovan People Jones, Rashad Higgins, like you can get a nice stack late. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's going to be there. Ooh, Fitzpatrick. I love that pick. Love I know Sean was probably looking at him as one of the one of the quarterback options. Yeah, I mean, I love me some Fitzpatrick, but I'm not convinced he's gonna play the entire season. And I don't have uh I didn't get Terry McLaurin, so the the no less, stack less is intrigued. aspect isn't as exciting. <sighs> I, I I'm not even really sure. I, I still need I only have two tight ends. I have five receivers. I have five running backs, two quarterbacks. Probably need another. I need another quarterback, right? Don't I want to grab one more? How many do you have? You only have one. I have two. Oh, yeah. You need three. I kind of like taking a third one that's gonna gonna do something for me. Uh, Is Jared Goff? Is is it? it, It's not smart to take Jared Goff, right? He's on. He's a starter. (laughs) Any yeah, chance they take a, a quarterback? They can. Get, mm. I, I was reading that they can get out of Jared Goff next year for not that much. Oh, the Lions. Yeah. yeah, I think they're. I think they're certainly in the mix. I. I don't think they will. Again, I still think they go defense, but I, quarterback isn't completely off the board. No, you're on the clock, Kramer. Uh, you know, you said it earlier, and it's probably a little early, but people in this chat they know what they're doing. Donald Parham's the play. Mm. Um. That offense is going to be productive, and I, I think the tight, you know, you can see they have a couple tight ends that can run vertically down the field, and perhaps maybe I'm just betting on the fact that even if Jared Cook does play, does beat out Parham, and does uh, manage to start the season as the number one guy, he's going to get hurt. So I like Parham. Uh, third tight end, I like the upside. Again, you want that high ceiling, so I think we like the Chargers' offense. Darius Tony is selected. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Again, he could be uh he could be someone that goes in the late first round to a decent spot. Maybe. I it's interesting how many of these guys that are, that are running around that just I don't know. I, I I'm not sold on some of the I like yeah, I would I, think, I would rather take uh Antonio not, Brown at this point because he feels like he'll <laughs> he'll end up on some team, play six games, maybe have a couple decent Man, games. Yeah, there he is. Just Darrington Evans is uh has been drafted as well. Like I said, Antonio Brown off the board. T. Y. Hilton kicking around. I mean, 
I know he was pretty injured, but doesn't this don't you think someone would have taken a shot by him or on him by yeah, now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, that's what I was saying. Like he's still alive, right? He's still a guy. <laughs> he is still a guy by all accounts, Ryan. And what about like Marvin Jones sitting there in Jacksonville? Like he he he's he becomes interesting because he he was productive in Detroit, and not you know he had a good quarterback in Matty Stafford, but yeah. What are the what are the pass catchers in Detroit look like right now? Do we have a do we have a big board up somewhere? Oh, uh, Alan Lazard's still available. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's see who the Lions' uh, wide receiver depth chart. We have uh, Tyrell Williams, Brashad Perryman, Quintez Cephas. It feels like you should probably take one of those guys, right? They're gonna throw the ball. Aren't they gonna just have a horrible defense? Yeah, I mean they could also really be behind Denzel Mims. Yeah, Denzel Mims. Oh wait, could, no, Denzel Mims is on the Jets. Um, right? so yeah, but you could. I, I was. That would have been an interesting opportunity had you taken him with uh, Corey Davis because they're also going to be down. It, yeah. I would imagine. Now who knows? Maybe Zach Wilson's the 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 next prophet. He's the next Mahomes. Mahomes. <laughs> Christian Kirk. All right, Christian Sean. Kirk has been selected. So I'm on the clock here. Two picks. Where are you going? Uh, I think I know what I'm going to do. All right, give me Zach Wilson okay. to pair with Corey Davis, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go Jared Goff, oh, so what? I can round out my third quarter. What? I mean, now I have three starting quarterbacks. What? None of these other quarterbacks are starters. What? Wow. I waited on quarterback, and now I have to. Jared Goff sucks island, but not in a dome when he's down 30 points. Mac, uh, Andy Dalton was still there, Sean. Yeah. No, but come on. With Nick T- Foles Teddy, as the backup. Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater doesn't have a team. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, I took the two last starting quarterbacks with the exception of Andy Dalton. Taysom Hill. Uh, again, starting quarterbacks. <laughs> and now I can just try and and pair maybe maybe I go uh yeah, maybe I get one of these. Do the Bears Detroit take pen. a quarterback in the draft? <laughs> <laughs> I I think that Whoever laid out that hypothetical Derek Carr trade to the to the Browns no. or sorry to the Bears, I think is kind of on. So, on to Imagine you're a Bears fan, you trade for Derek Carr. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so. But couldn't you see Derek Carr getting traded to the Raiders? Like it just makes so much sense to the Bears. Yeah, I mean the Bears. Right? Just a, just that would I I would please don't let that happen to her. I is, is Drew Locke draftable? Oh no. No. I mean maybe. Tyrod Taylor? No. He's not gonna be he's starting. I mean I You know they who's starting in Houston for those first five weeks? Tyrod. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I keep forgetting that he's the backup in Houston. <laughs> he's getting paid back for the uh the, the situation where the Chargers <laughs> injured him. He just can't end up on a decent spot, Kenny. Man, I he, I mean, I need a third quarterback, but I'm almost tempted to take Taysom Hill. Why? I mean, I would take Mac Jones before I take Taysom Hill. Mm, not Jimmy G. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive disrespect. I mean, there's a good chance that Jimmy G ends up in New England, and you know, now he's back with Belichick. They have all his weapons back in the McDaniel's offense. That. I mean that's gonna happen, right? Isn't that the trade on draft day? Yeah, I've been talking about it. Everyone why, why all these ch- why or, you know all these fake sharps saying otherwise. Oh, I just stumbled into a great play. Nice. What, what you're gonna tell me? No. Oh, we we can't talk about it now. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it, Ryan. It's too it's too good. Josh Reynolds, love that pick. Uh, I'm I'm kind of tempted to take one more pass catcher. There's there's some guys out there I, I feel could really God damn it. Oh, there it is. Jamison Crowder. I thought he had slipped under the radar. He's quietly like a PPR machine. Yeah. And with the my buddy Zach Wilson, that would have been nice. Damn it. Demarcus Robinson. Have, now I'm just gonna have to hope Nelson Aguilar falls. <laughs> I I think I have to take Jimmy G, right? I need a third quarterback. Yeah, you don't have a third quarterback? What are you doing, Ryan? I think I have to take Jimmy G. Yeah, maybe that. You know, start a couple of games before uh, 
They put in Mac Jones. Well, now I have to almost. Now I need to take a fourth quarterback. <laughs> take Mac Jones. Andy Dalton. No, I can't take Andy Dalton two times in a row. There's rules against that. Oh, almost home, Sean. Two more rounds. Yes, Tur- we're turning into seventeen. Ah, uh, what can people look forward to on the sports gambling podcast this week, Sean? Well, we got our big mega draft special live Thursday night. You can uh, call in via locker room, SGPN uh, friends, contributors, family. They'll all be skyping, zooming in. You know, telling us who they want, what's what they're hoping for, reacting live to what the pick is, and of course, if trades happen. We'll scramble and try to get the uh, right people zoomed in. Right, we'll figure it out. I think it, Colby's going to be uh, on location at the bar. He will be reporting live from the uh, <laughs> SGPN bar. This is going to be funny. It's going to be I great. Ca- I can't wait till to when we throw it to to Colby at the bar. Yeah, Colby's Colby got the sweet gig behind the bar. How are you uh, rounding out this draft? So Andy Dalton has been drafted. Elijah Moore taking rolling the dice on the receiver. Someone stole Nelson Aguilar from me, OJ Howard, which that's kind of an interesting play this late. I definitely looked at OJ Howard, Howard and considered it. Cause again, you know why they paid him a bunch of money, not that long ago. And Gronk isn't going to be trying all that hard until later in the season. Yeah. We know this, uh, you know, I, I probably should take a tight end here. And again, I'm going to take the post hype guy on a team. They're going to be passing the ball a lot. Christopher Herndon. Uh, fuck off! I, I, uh, you're taking him away from Zach Wilson. Are you I'm ta- kidding me? I'm taking him away from Zach Wilson again. 17th round, high upside. Uh, maybe a little bit of air on that prediction, but uh, that's where I'm going. Uh, Herndon sucks. I was just gonna get him for the stack factor. You're crazy taking Herndon solo, Ryan. That's a bad choice by you. He's athletic. You know, you don't know. <laughs> maybe it was Sam Tyler. Darnold. Tyler Croft's their third tight end. He's gonna beat him out for the spot. No. Un- unbelievably wrong. Trey Lance goes, Sean. Trey Lance off the board. So with my last pick, do I take a, a fourth quarterback or another pass catcher? Mm. Probably a fourth quarterback. All right, Ryan, as we're closing things out here, make sure you check us out on Riffer, sports gambling podcast.com slash Riffer, R I F F R. Doing micro podcasting four times a week. They're little fun little mini pods. Me, Kramer, the Dantabase, Moon Off the Machine, giving you out free picks that you might not hear on the podcast. Gonna want to stay tuned over there. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash riffer R I F F R. And of course, better than Vegas every goddamn day. Free daily video picks. Why are you not uh, subscribed to our profile? You should be subscribed. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV takes you right to our profile page over there and uh, drop us a follow over on Better Than Vegas. It's like YouTube, but for sports gambling, much better. AJ Green off the board. Sony Michelle, Traquan Smith. This is where people are just rolling the dice, taking shots. Uh, do I take, is it a positional player bullet or do I, do I take another quarterback? Hmm. Additional player ball. What are you what are you gonna do, Kramer? Last I pick. It's a lot of ins, a lot of outs. You're picking two before <laughs> me. Where are you going? Hmm. You got your three quarterbacks. Well, oh yeah. You got you know, Jared Goff, I guess. You got and Zach Wilson. We, your quarterback situation's dicey. You have three tight ends, you want another one. Five uh, five running backs, five wide receivers. So you, you I think I'm doubling up on receiver. Depending yeah. on how the board shakes out, but I think I just go two receivers here. Um, take a shot on one of these guys. I mean, do I? I guess I could take. Yeah, I mean, you took Herndon. That was the that was the only tight end that was really interesting to me. And I did have Mo Alley Cox in my queue. He's just been selected, and Drew Locke is gone. Well, I see a guy that you've been talking about all off season. Who's here. that, Mister uh, Harrison Bryant? Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm I'm gonna go Alan Lazard. How did we only get one? It's true. I mean, so just Tunyon and um Yeah, just uh, and Devontae Adams and Aaron Jones, but I mean And Dylan. But uh, I think you're But you're Alan on Lazard? Some. Come on. There's certainly talk about boom games and give me Brashad Perriman to stack with 
Yeah. My good buddy Jared Goff in uh, Detroit. I mean, they got to throw the ball. Someone's going to catch the ball. Yeah, exactly. Someone's going to catch the ball. This is an interesting team. Jared Goff, Jalen Hurts, Zach Wilson, Naheem Hines, Kareem Hunt, James Conner, Tariq Cohen, Chris Carson, Stefan Diggs, Brashad Perriman, Corey Davis, Alan Lazard, Deontay Johnson, Devonta Smith, Justin Jefferson, Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard, Anthony Ferkser. I think this feeling? isn't this isn't been the only I this is not my favorite draft, but it's not my least favorite draft. Right in the right in the middle. Give myself a uh, B minus, Ryan. B all right. I, wow, hard was, on yourself, well, Sean. You know, I like to always leave room for improvement. And this uh. is my first time drafting doing a best ball here at the end of the turn. It's really Really you don't like figure the, out my. You don't like the gap. I just don't like waiting twenty three picks because it's hard to judge where the draft, especially early. Like, are are people going to make a run on something? And then you, you don't have a pick you, for so long. It totally is the situation where you have to start runs more than you're finishing them. You know, Ryan. Uh, what do I do here? Someone's uh, Ryan Harrington's calling you out, saying, "How do you take Jimmy G over Trey Lance or Dalton?" Uh, well, I mean, I guess th- this goes horribly wrong. So I, t- one of two things, right? Either I end up with, with the other half of what the, the San Francisco, it, oh, Wayne Gallman, my guy, you see, he's no longer on the Giants. Yeah, so. birthday boy. What am I going to do with that? He was my guy. <laughs> now, now he's not on the team. That you is your Moss. Wayne Gallman cameo. Look at that. Randy Moss's kid getting drafted. That's cute. That's kind of fun. Maybe he'll do something. He's Randy Moss's kid. Some GM's gonna be like, he's Randy Moss's kid, right? Ryan, answer, answer, uh, answer the Ryan Harrington in the uh, YouTube chat. What, what do I have to answer? How do you I take have to answer G him over Trey Lance or Andy Dalton? What, what was the? Well, Trey Lance is by a lot of people's account an inaccurate guy who's gonna need some time to develop, and Andy Dalton is fucking Andy Dalton. So give me the starting quarterback for fucking Galaxy Brain Kyle Shanahan. Again, good offense. Uh, it's my For third now. quarterback. It's my third fucking quarterback. Calm the <laughs> fuck down. Here's the question: Do I triple? Do I stack Darius Slayton, Daniel, Danny Dimes' guy with Shepard and Danny Dimes, or guy named Hunter Long just got drafted? We need to do a deep dive on him, Sean. He's a tight end. You like Hunter Hunter, Hunter Long. Long, the tight end? Are you kidding me? Never heard that? of him. He he might be replacing Jack Doyle as intermittent international <laughs> coxman of mystery. Uh, all right, do I go all in or do I do I take Mac Jones here? Uh, he's a, he's from Exeter, New Hampshire. He is a uh, he hasn't been drafted yet. Yeah, Mac Jones. I'll just I'll clean up the San Francisco quarterback situation. Oh, you went Mac Jones. I like it. I almost went Darius Slayton, but probably more value in having that uh, that quarterback situation. I like you don't want to load up on the high powered Giants offense. You know, I I haven't walked away with a single draft loving my quarterback room yet, but this is my favorite. Read off your quarterback room. It's uh, unlit, Mister Unlimited, Russell Wilson, okay, Danny Dimes, Jimmy G, and Mac Jones. Now you want to compare that? My last one was uh, Matthew Stafford. Oh no, I'm sorry. My last one was Oh, Sean, you have a lot of Jalen Hurts. I'm looking around. A lot of Jalen yeah. Hurts on your Matthew Stafford, Jared a lot of shares. Matthew Stafford, Jared Goff, Andy Dalton was the last set. So I like it a lot better than that one, Sean. Closing it out after Mac Jones, Sammy Watkins, Josh Kelly, which that's a fun pick. And Harrison Bryant, who again, I think has some nice value there in Cleveland. The draft is complete. Harrison Bryant is Mr. Irrelevant. We're taping this Ryan live on Sunday night, which means still time to get in your review over on our Apple podcast page for hashtag merch Monday. And then Thursday, Thursday is the day the live draft, the live simulcast tune in kicking off when the draft starts, you know, when that is youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Sean, Thank I, you I, for participating in the sports gambling podcast. I think the draft grade thing may be broken again. No idea how to grade everyone else's, but it's saying I got a ninety-seven out of a hundred, <laughs> baby. One the draft oh. for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green, and he is Ryan. Draft week, bro. Kramer, let.